people. How was that? I bet I sounded like Matt, didn't I? Anyway, guys, what's up? My name is George. I'm posting another video on Matt's channel here, Mac OS 10 Tutorial 12. And um, you guys, most of you might remember me. I made uh, another video on called Amazing Mac Tips. And today I'm making a new video. I want to thank Matt so much for letting me post on his uh, channel and I really appreciate it. So I hope you guys uh, like my video for the new subscribers. My name is AppleAddict22. I've got a channel here on YouTube for tech reviews, uh, tutorials, app reviews, all in HD, great quality. So um, my channel is right here and let's get started. So today I'm going to be showing you guys a bunch of cool terminal tips. Now, for those of you who don't know what Terminal is, Terminal is an application on your Mac which allows you to enter commands so you can alter things um, in the Mac user interface. And um, it's actually called the command line user interface because some computers can only be used by entering commands. They don't, you know, you can't click things like in uh, the graphical user interfaces such as uh, Windows 7 and Mac OS 10 and all those. So we're going to open up Terminal, either by um, Alfred, which I showed you in my previous video, or you can just go up here to Spotlight and click Terminal. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you guys is... Whoa. Okay, so uh, we're switching positions a bit here, that's what she said. So anyway, the first thing I'm going to show you is how to get back that wicked cool 2D dock that we had in Mac OS 10.4. Tiger. Now I'm not sure if most of you remember it, but most of you should. Um, it wasn't glass, it wasn't 3D, but it had a black background and it looked very nice. And a lot of people, including myself, liked it. So forgive me if I look down a bit, I've just got the commands here, just a minute on my iPhone. So we're going to write defaults space write space com dot apple dot doc space no dash glass space dash boolean capital yes all in capitals and I will have these in the description so do not worry I'm gonna press space and we're gonna type kill all doc so uh, now we're gonna press space again and there we go the doc has changed it looks very nice um, I might just keep this for a bit but for the sake of showing you guys how to change it back, I am going to uh, do it again. They're going to press space, you're going to press kill all, capital D, doc, and press enter. So as you can see, my doc has been reverted back to the 3D doc of Mac OS 10 Leopard and Snow Leopard. So the next command is a very cool one indeed and it's something that many Mac users have wanted for a very long time and this is getting the widgets from your dashboard onto your desktop. So I'm going to paste the uh, command just so I don't kill you guys till I do it. Um, so you're going to write, you're going to paste it, I'll have it in the description. It's default space write space com dot apple dot dashboard space dev mode space yes in all capitals you're gonna press space uh, yeah you're gonna press enter and you are gonna write kill all doc with a capital D and you're gonna press enter again and now you will see that uh, when you open dashboard um, you hold the widget you want then you close dashboard with what whatever button you have for dashboard and you just let go and there you go you've got it on your desktop so that is very cool and um, to show you guys how to undo this let me just close terminal and reopen it um, you're gonna paste the same thing just a minute you're gonna paste the same thing but at the end you're gonna write no kill all dot and you're gonna press space and uh, now when you do that again you can let it go into your dashboard so that is also very very helpful so you can have all your widgets on your desktop look at your time without having to bring up your dashboard now I'm 100% sure that most of you guys are asking how does this guy get these spaces into his dock and that brings us to our last terminal tip of today 
So as you can see, I've got spaces here in my dock and these mark categories which I wanted to make. So um, here I've got my music ca category, I've got my um, web browser category, I've got my photography category and uh, my communications category and also my media category. So um, these things, they're just, you know, you can drag them out and they will go. They are like icons. So we are going to open terminal again and um, I'll show you how to add these spaces into your dock. So um, I'm gonna show you the commands. I've got the command typed into terminal and wow, my dock looks really disgusting and cluttered to me because I've gotten so used to these spaces and I'm sure everyone is gonna love them. So now we're gonna press space and we are gonna press kill all dock as in all the commands and we're gonna press space again, enter again, sorry. And here you go, you can see that a little space is formed. So you can move it around, you can place it wherever you want and then just let go as you would do with a normal icon. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Apodic22, my links are down there. Please subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter. Thanks again to Matt and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.